Hello, may I come in? I am Chef Boyardi. Before there was the can, there was the man. Chef Boyardi was a real person. Um, the man that you know on the can is Chef Boyardi was my great uncle. Boyardi was a food revolutionary because he made it possible for people that could never have gotten to his restaurant, wouldn't have cooked a, a pasta sauce themselves, but they could buy a can of it. The company was actually founded by my grandfather and my two great uncles. Italian food in the 20s was not as common as it is today. People were always asking, well, how do I make this at home? And they would give customers some pasta to take home and a little tomato sauce and give them a little cheese and explain how to properly cook the pasta. Everyone thought it was great. And they decided that they are going to start canning their tomato sauce and selling it in supermarkets across America. Revolutionary improvements in canning technology make it possible to reliably preserve the Boyardi's sauce. And then, history comes knocking. The Japanese bomb Pearl Harbor. World War II was a hugely significant event in the food chain because these ration packs, all of these processed foods were, if you like, developed to meet a need, to meet a need of armies that were far away that needed to be fed. We are going to win this war. At the beginning of World War II, Chef Boyardi is granted the commission to produce rations. All of what's considered civilian production, so that supermarket production, is halted. And the factory is converted to aid in the war effort and is now running 24 hours a day. At war's end, the Boyardi family has to make a hard choice. Stop producing food, lay off employees, and devastate their suppliers, or figure out a way to recycle the rations to civilians. And as is so often the case with dedicated revolutionaries, desperation turns to inspiration. Ask your grocer for Chef Boyardi's spaghetti dinner with meat or mushroom sauce, won't you? Chef Boyardee puts the spaghetti and meatballs together and puts them in a can. It's a picture of it on the outside of this. Here's this professional saying, you can serve this in your home. And it becomes one of the more successful products that are made in America. Chin Chin. It's a great story. 